Uh, Even let's though we really get the right to, thing uh, work, kind of, when you think about it. So, so this one might seem like a little bit of nostalgia from a earlier thing we did in the year. Uh, Nintendo has announced that the company will be removing credit card support for both the 3DS and Wii U starting in January of next year, effectively shuttering the closure of their digital storefronts. Uh, this type of news isn't new to the digital landscape, as Sony attempted the same strategy earlier this year uh, with the PSP, Vita, and PS3 electronic stores, and only rescinded their actions on the latter two platforms once enough public outcry was achieved. Sorry, my phone's vibrating. Probably fucking with my mic on the recording. Um, I remain doubtful that Nintendo and its traditional stubbornness will rescind such a move, and it's a damn shame because... Uh, so many games are still locked to the 3DS and Wii U exclusives and whatnot. But even on top of that, the Wii U in particular has such it, it, it's such a good machine for accessing so many games all across um, Nintendo's history. Like you can play N64 games, you can play Game Boy games, you can play uh, original DS games like these are all available to download. It's convenient. You don't have to like go to fucking eBay and uh, even more so than Sony, I would say Nintendo's entire brand is built on nostalgia. Like when you when you even when you go to like play like Mario Odyssey, like so much of the charm of that comes down to I have a giant amount of Nintendo nostalgia. And this reminds me of playing uh, older Mario games like that is their brand. So uh, this is. I mean, I mean honestly, uh, there's probably not a lot of people playing on their Wii U and whatever, but. Man, just in terms of like preservation, they are really shooting themselves in the foot. It's it's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I I have for a long time been really upset with how Nintendo handles their their uh, history and previous games, and like they like it it goes back to the fact that every fucking new system they have they ha- put together a new eShop and then they charge you 7 bucks for Super Mario Brothers again on this new eShop like the 3DS had its own shop the Wii and the Wii U and all of them and they bring back the game the same games and they charge you, you like you cannot you can never like forward them through your account or anything it's mm-hmm. not like the Sony system or the the Microsoft system, where like you could once you get it on one system, you can play it on whatever you want, or at least yeah. it's in your account. And then they shut the things down. So, like Metroid Fusion, I think is on the Wii U shop or one of the Metroids. Oh, yeah, I believe I believe both of them are. Yeah, and, and I and like that's the one of the more most convenient ways to play it now. But they're shutting it down, so. You got to wait until they deign it appropriate to, you know, put it on another shop before you can get get it again. And it it just re it's like the old Disney Vault system and how shitty it was and like sort of like the forced scarcity. They did it with the the re release of the um, Super Mario 3D All Stars uh, for the, the Mario anniversary where like, you know, they stopped selling that on the eShop. Like they, and it, they, they just have Nintendo in general has a horrible attitude and like, I don't know it, it, they have so many good games and like the whole thing they did was they like, they target children and families and they, they build up their audience from like, a young age and so people are going to have nostalgia for those games they played when they were younger but then nintendo you know turns around and charges out the wazoo and makes it hugely difficult to even find these games like like honestly i i wouldn't care if like they nintendo actually gave a shit to port their games to the switch uh because it's just be like okay cool it's on the newer hardware whatever but like, I, I was just thinking to myself the other day, just like, you know what? I kind of feel like going back to play um, Ocarina of Time 3D. I want to play Majora's Mask 3D. That, those are just great ways to play those games. I would argue they're definitive. I mean, some people still prefer, like, the N64 versions. But, man, they have such a history, and they refuse to make it available. Like, are they just adverse to money? Like, like let's say even, like, once a week, release uh, a, a game from, like, each old system or whatever like they have the funds to do it it's 
so much of what Nintendo does just does not make sense. And just to touch on an earlier point you mentioned where you're constantly having to rebuy like Super Mario Brothers, where you're just unwilling to verify like, yes, you do own this. Therefore, you have an unlocked token to download the Switch version or whatever. Because this, 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 this is a known quantity. It's not some it's not fucking rocket science. Um, when I, when I, even when I think about that, like I have the Steam Deck pre-ordered. And like one of the biggest appeals of that to me is like, hey, if I feel like playing, what, what's a random game in my Steam library? Let me let me shuffle this shit real quick. Let's see. Not installed. If I feel like playing Metro Last Light Redux, I don't have to worry about buying a new version because I already fucking own it. I ponied up the money freaking years ago. I'm good to go. And that's just something Nintendo's uh, unwilling to do. And 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 like then they have the the switch. They replaced the eShop with the Switch Online, or you know, membership program where you get access to like Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. And then they release like three games every three months on it. Yeah, and, and like, and <laughs> I appreciate them. Like a lot of people sort of give them shit because they were for the last couple of times they've done it. They've released these like really like obscure games and like they're, they're not releasing like the hits and that's cool for, for game preservation. They're re-releasing these lesser known super Nintendo and Nintendo games that might like, you know, trigger something nostalgia memory, whatever. And they're giving the spotlight to them. But at the same time, they aren't, doing this frequently enough for that to be okay. Like if you're releasing three super Nintendo games for your paid online membership thing, every couple months, they can't just be the deep cuts. Like you, you have to also give the people what they want. And there's just like obvious shit. That's just missing. Like I, I haven't looked at the switch online thing, whatever in a while, but have they out of anyone on the market, they have the biggest pockets of like of, they have the biggest library of games that they can put out there. They they just don't. If this tells you how much I care, I haven't renewed my online membership in like a year because <laughs> I just I don't care about anything they've been putting out. I mean, I bought that Mario collection just so you know I could have it before they killed him, and I still have it. But like, I, to be completely honest with you. I'm probably going to sell that thing when it becomes like $200 in like a year. Yeah. Like, cause it's like that. Cause Nintendo is the worst when it comes to making things to where you can buy things physically or you can get the collector's edition of anything. And this is coming from a former GameStop employee who was around when super smash brothers came out and Nintendo went, oh, you guys have over 300 copies pre-ordered? Cool, we're going to send you 350, because you have 336. So people only get a chance to get 14 copies of it if they didn't pre-order it. Like, nin- like it's... I don't know, I don't, much to- I don't have much to add to the conversation, because I'm not that big of a Nintendo person, but, like... Yeah. I no, don't think I- they're as good as preservation as people think they are. Oh no, they're, they're probably the worst. Like, because I think I, they're like, like you said, at, at Emma, they have deep pockets. They're not going to release Metroid Fusion for people who pay like five ninety nine a month. They're gonna make you, you, you pay thirty fucking dollars for it. <laughs> like, yep, later down the line. Like, it's, there you go. Here's I mean, my thing. Because I bought Skyward Sword on the Switch. But I've never played Skyward Sword. That seemed okay to me as someone who has never played it. But, like, for those who have played it, $60 just seems fucking intense. There you go. Here, here is my 3DS with, what is this, a Zelda hardcover casing, whatever. Ooh, uh, nice. That I looks beautiful. Uh, I don't... Is this, does this have power? Holy shit, how does this have power? Uh, I haven't used this in, like, dust mine four off years. Too. Animal is Crossing it, Switch. Is it booting up? I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give mine the power oh, test too. It, sa- it says full power, like all mine's, bars. Mine's turning on too. Animal Crossing hell? Switch. I don't, I don't have a DS anymore. So here's my <laughs> Animal Crossing See, Switch. What, 
Let me see. What do I have installed? I because I don't have like a big book. memory card or whatever. Persona um, Q2. My... That's what's been sitting in my 3DS. Nice. Here's my nice. I, I have the first one installed. Thing. I never played the second. Uh, I have Fire Emblem Awakening, uh, Mega Man, Super Mario Brothers, Pokemon X, Ocarina mm -hmm. of Time, and Mario Brothers Three. I, I have more stuff, but I have so I have yeah. the two Legend of Zelda <laughs> Oracle games. Uh, I've got Mega Man Five, the Game Boy version, which th which had the Planet Robot Masters, and mm. I've got Shovel Knight. I do have yeah. Shovel Knight on PC and Switch. I don't oh. have a 2DS anymore because 3D hurt hurt my eyes. Oh, I never use it to be honest. So yeah, I never used my, the 3D on the 3DS either. It's just either. my Animal Crossing Switch. And like, system update like is available. Thing. I also have Toe Beans on it. Because toe beans make you play better. I still like. I, I know. I know it made a lot of people's head hurt, and I never used it. But I still think the 3D technology they used for the 3DS was really cool. Like, like, like honestly, cool. they'll they'll never they ah, I can't speak. They, they will never do it again because they got sued for it. It, mm -hmm. it was a patented thing, and they went against it anyway. So unless they strike some kind of deal, it's just not going to happen. But the, which man, sucks. That sucks. Which there was some cool stuff because like you, you could do it and like even stuff like Zelda it, like it was cool but there's like some games that are like specifically built around it that man that's some really cool shit in it. I Updating. used to have the oh, Persona Q 3ds, the Persona Q 3ds XL. I did I did have that at one point, and I got rid of it because the 3D hurt my eyes and it was really heavy. Only to find out that that thing's worth six hundred dollars. <laughs> 